Hi Fi Vega, back again. This time we're going to learn how to solder a lug. We're going to do two different ways of soldering the lug, and then we're also going to throw a third alternative way of connecting your lug up, which is my preferred method up until this point. I've got all my wires prepared and I've stripped them back intentionally long because I'm going to try not to burn the jacket when I solder this, but we'll see what happens. Once I've got this lug secured, we'll uh, go on to the first method. And the way we're gonna do this is adding the solder and flux directly into the lug. And when it's heated up enough, we will add the wire and let it cool off. Well, I should have already had my wire prepared, but uh, no worries, we'll heat it back up and we'll put the wire in and let it cool down. We'll be good to go. Okay, looks like this one's pretty solid. On to the next. The second method is very similar, only we're gonna use a smaller amount of solder in the lug we will then put the wire in, let that small amount hold it. Obviously there's gonna be some flux in there just like always when you solder. But the difference is, once that's in, we will come back around and we will solder from the top end and let that flux wick it down even more. So this one is much uglier, but looks like the solder got all the way through. So maybe a better connection. We'll find out once we put it on the vise and cut it up. Just for fun, I'm gonna throw in my current favorite way to connect lugs, and that's using that yellow hydraulic crimper that's been lurking in the background the whole time. So uh, we'll get this lug crimped up and we'll see how it stacks up to these soldered lugs. These sky high lugs are a little bit oversized, so I don't have the exact correct dies. We get a little bit of winging on the edges, but hey, it's all good. Let's cut these things open and see who did the best. Before we cut them open, let's see how well this solder connection holds and the crimp connection holds. We'll start off with the number one method, and that's the solder dip method. I use a lot of force trying to get this off and this solder is holding strong. Now on to the second method. You know, this is gonna be stronger because it's got essentially twice as much solder and it's got solder from the bottom and from top. So let's go. Just as expected, solid as a rock. Now we're on to the hydraulic crimped lug. And if you watch any of my other videos, you probably know how this is gonna go. As expected, it performed beautifully. Time to cut these open and see what they look like on the inside. Let's start with the crimped lug. And if you take a close look at it, you can see that it is one solid piece on both ends. It's what they call a cold weld. Now we're on to method number one of soldering the lug. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. This one's a little harder to see on camera, but it's a solid connection with a copper core in the middle. 
Now we're on to method number two of soldering the lugs. So uh, let's cut it open and see what it looks like. So as you'll see shortly, this got complete bleed through and is one soldered solid connection. Before I started this video, I was a little bit apprehensive about how well solder would work on a lug that's meant to be crimped. But as you can see from these results, that it actually works very well. But here's the thing, I still think that the crimp lug is better because you're not introducing anything into the lug. It's copper on copper, and like I said before, it's considered a cold weld. Now, the electrical benefit you gain from solder in the videos I've seen is negligible at best. With all that being said, I think we've proven here that solder inside of a lug that's meant to be crimped is a viable option and it is a very good connection. I'd like to thank each and every one of you who take the time to like, subscribe, and comment on all my videos. And I'd like to give a special shout out to my Patreon supporters, including Jason Rose. If you'd like to become one and get some exclusive content, check me out at patreon.com slash high five vega.